My name is Robin Zell. I'm the director and curator at the Housatonic Museum of Art, part of Housatonic Community College, and we're located in downtown Bridgeport, Connecticut. We have a collection that spans time from ancient to contemporary. With the focus of it, the concentration of the collection between, I would say, 1967 and 1990, which is when Bert Chernow, who's the founder of the collection, he was a professor of art and art history here, began collecting in earnest. Part of his mission was to enliven the space and create a really welcoming learning environment for the students. His belief was that students should live with artwork on a daily basis, that just being around artwork provided a learning experience, it created um, curiosity, and it instilled empathy, and it opened the door for asking questions and critical thinking. Bert's vision was that wherever you went, you would be surrounded by artwork. So now we're sitting in the student lounge. The work behind me uh, was created by students here. And the other works around the campus are by professional artists. They're part of the museum's permanent collection. And we have about a um, little over 6,000 works of art in the collection now, and that includes photography, paper, ceramics, sculpture, and painting. It's about 347,000 square feet of exhibition space and work is everywhere on the campus, um, in offices and in the hallways, in the lounge areas, in the cafeteria. So everywhere you go you'll see works of art which is great for the students and um, a little daunting for the staff. <laughs> We have designated galleries that focus on our Native American art in one area. We have a nice, large African art collection, so we have another atrium area that's devoted just exclusively to African art. We have very significant pieces that are valuable aesthetically, art historically, as well as um, monetarily. So that's in our highlights of the collection. The Housatonic Museum of Art has three areas that are uh, areas of our concentration. The first one is exhibitions, the second one is educational outreach, and the third and most important is conservation. We are a public trust. All the works here actually belong to the state of Connecticut. A lot of the works have been given as donations by collectors to us. As a public trust, it's incumbent upon us to really care for the collection. So that means trying to prevent damage through proper storage. And then also, things age, people age, furniture ages, and art ages. The materials get brittle, old, the glue dries out, all of that. So we do take um, that very seriously in monitoring the condition of objects and trying to get out in front of anything that we might see. So making sure um, the works are stretched properly, that they're stored properly, that they're handled properly goes a long way in protecting the artwork.